ever wonder why caffeine doesn't work for you? That is going to be the topic of our 60 second brain bomb for today. Now, for the general population, caffeine works really well. It can give you a nice kick of energy. And for endurance athlete, it has a ton of ergogenic benefits. And caffeine works like this. When caffeine isn't in your system, there's a molecule called adenosine that builds up through the day and eventually binds to something known as an adenosine receptor. When this happens, you can feel lethargic or a little sleepy. Now, when you ingest caffeine, caffeine actually binds to this adenosine receptor and blocks adenosine from binding to it so you feel energized. So with that being said, why isn't caffeine working for you? Well, there's a lot of different reasons, but there are four main ones, and let's discuss these real briefly. The first one is you have a genetic variation in your adenosine receptors that make them less sticky to the caffeine binding to them. So you ingest caffeine, it tries to stick to these adenosine receptors, it doesn't work, and adenosine is allowed to bind to the receptors instead. And again, you feel lethargic or sleepy or just not quite like your energized self. Now, the second reason why it may not be working is due to a liver enzyme called CYP1A2, which totally sounds like a Star Wars character. This is not the caffeine droid you are looking for. <laughs> so basically, this enzyme dictates how fast you metabolize caffeine. And some people metabolize it really, really fast. So you ingest the caffeine, it goes into your system, and just a little while later, it's out, and you really don't feel the effects from caffeine. The third reason caffeine may not be working for you is you're not consuming enough of it. I'm sorry, the 25 to 50 milligrams just quite isn't going to cut it. Research has demonstrated pretty consistently that consuming 3 to 6 milligrams of caffeine per kilogram body weight provides the most benefits. So, for example, a 70 kilogram guy like me will consume about 210 milligrams of uh, caffeine. And the last reason caffeine may not be working for you is if you're on certain medications that inhibit caffeine and binding to the adenosine receptors. And off the top of my head, these medications include antidepressants, anti-anxiety, diabetes medications, and thyroid medications. So caffeine isn't working for you. Is there any other supplements you should consider taking that have similar effects to caffeine? Off the top of my head on this one, I'm thinking of teacrine, dynamine, and if you want some of the focus components from caffeine, you could try something like alpha GPC or lion's mane or some of the other nootropics. Now, that's all I have on why caffeine isn't working for you. If you want other brain bombs like this, check out the rest of our YouTube channel, head over to the Endurly blog, and until next time, stay fueled, stay focused, and stay fast.